Today I'd like to talk about the ancient mysteries of Kulak. Kulak is just Darndale doing a posh accent on the phone to the revenue. The Holy Trinity of Kulakia has been keeping the locals under control for centuries. It's here that- Frankie, what's the Holy Trinity of Kulakia? Oh, it's in the name of the UCI, Leisure Plex and the Power City. Yup bro. The 27 bus is a military transportation unit that can withstand the force of Kulak's deadliest weapons, eggs. The 27 has seen more eggs than Gordon Ramsay's frying pan. The 27 is the only armed response unit in Dublin bus. Every time the 27 gets egged, it makes the bus get even stronger. In 2025, the 27 will become an aeroplane. If Kulak is known for anything, it's known for being a magical chocolate wonderland. No, not that! The Cadbury's factory is the pride and joy of Kulak. The Cadbury's field is home to rabbits. Kulakians think they're chocolate bunnies, but whenever they take a bite out of them, they get rabies. Chocolate bunnies are meant to be delicious, they're not meant to make you foam at the mouth. Kulak is also responsible for creating the world's first seasoned crisp back in 1954. Kulak is home to the original Tato crisp, and since then, Kulak has been living in the sprawling shadow of Mr. Tato. The blacker has left a spiritual black eye in the collective conscience of Kulak. The government of Kulakia turned the lights off in this infamous club. The blacker got its final blackout. Then they did the unimaginable. They turned the blacker into a fly fit, which as everyone knows, is the exact opposite of everything the blacker stood for. Jazz Chinese is known as the best all-you-can-eat buffet in Kulak. It also happens to be the only all-you-can-eat buffet in Kulak. Everyone in Kulak has a special place in their heart for the jazz, and also a special place in their kitchen wardrobe for a set of their stolen cutlery. The Leisure Plex in Kulak has a BYOB bowling night. BYOB stands for Bring Your Own Bowling Balls, but because no one in Kulak owns bowling balls, they just show up to the bowling alley, get locked, and start battering each other. The Northside Shopping Centre was originally a bomb shelter, and it still is, but now it's just a bomb shelter with a KFC in it. The interior of the Northside Shopping Centre looks like it hasn't been changed since the invention of the compass itself. There's no compass in the Northside Shopping Centre, but if there was, it'd say, Kulak on top bro, yeah? <laughs>